Okay guys, so unfortunately I have to start this episode with a little bit of bad news. I just finished recording four different matches. You can see in the calendar here that we've actually gone towards the Barcelona game. I just played against Arsenal, Aston Villa, Ajax and simulated a game here against uh, Swansea. I've just gone to start editing it for the upload today and the footage has completely corrupted. So as you can imagine, I'm a little bit annoyed at that. I just spent an hour and a half talking to myself for nothing. So I'm going to recap what happened and then we're just going to have to carry on. There's nothing I can do about it. So we simulated the game against Swansea. We got a 2-0 win, which was a good result. I then played against Ajax and had, I could say, one of the best games I've had in the series so far. 4-0. I absolutely destroyed Ajax in the second half. It was nil-nil at half time. And I brought on Sandro in the second half and scored a double within like the first 20 minutes of the second half. And I ended up winning 4-0, which was just unbelievable. I was so excited to edit that game and it's gone. But it did happen. I beat them 4-0. We then went ahead, went ahead and played Aston Villa. We beat them 2-1 away from home. Geraldo scored, I think it was like around the 70th minute, a beautiful finesse shot, but that's lost, of course. And then up against Arsenal, this was a really tough game. And I went with a slightly weaker lineup, knowing that I've got the uh, the Barcelona game coming up and uh, ended up drawing two all. I was winning the game and then about five minutes to go, Ramsey pops up with a goal and that got them a point. So um, I'm really sorry, guys. You know, it happens. Unfortunately, tech doesn't work every single time. This hasn't happened for a long time for me. So I'm, I'm actually reinstalling all of the drivers. I'm reinstalling the software that I used to record just to make sure that this video doesn't go corrupt as well. So uh, I've tested it, it seems to be working. We're gonna go straight into the Barcelona game and hopefully we can uh, we can actually continue playing well because I am playing well today. It's just whether or not Barcelona are gonna be just that little bit too good for us. Uh, Ari Yibi, he wants to let us know he's happy at the moment. Let's have a look here, player conversation. He says, thanks for putting me back into the team. No worries, dude. We've got so many great players. Ariyubi is still one of them for sure. Even though that, of course, we've brought in Malcolm and he's done so well. But as you can see in the group stages right now, we are joint top with Barcelona. A win here would be very, very good. But I just, yeah, it's it's Barcelona. I'm not feeling 100% confident. But we're going to go to the Camp Nou and do as best as we can. Coming up against one of the best teams in the game. It's going to be a, a hell of a test for us. And I thought I would just update you on the squad a little bit as well. Um, because in that recording that I just lost, we got St. Maximin to 82 in training. Uh, we also gave Tuan Zebe a new contract. He wanted 30,000 a week, I think it was. So he has accepted that, which is good news. Um, what else happened? I'm pretty sure Galdemez, yeah, he got halfway to 83. So very, very close to 83, which is going to be great. Um, and it looks like Messi's going to be playing for Barcelona, coming up against one of the best players of all time. Can we keep him quiet with Dalbert down on our left side? We will soon find out. This is it, guys. This is the real test. This is going to be a really, really tough game. I can see they've got Messi, they've got Suarez, they've got Neymar, they've got Umtiti, PK. It looks like they're going with arguably their best team. Jordi Alba there as well. It's going to be interesting to see kind of how far off we are. You know, you look at the Barcelona side, you're probably going to say they're one of the best teams in the game. Well, they are. How far off are we? They've got Ozil on the bench. Okay, interesting. Let's see the full lineup here. Oh, God, that is... It's so, so good. They've got PK and Umtiti the wrong way around, though. Umtiti should be on the left. Um, but either way, it's still a very good team. Here's the lineup. You've already seen mine. We need to stop MSN. We have to stop Neymar. Especially Neymar. He's probably higher rated than uh, Messi at this point. But, of course, Messi and Suarez. I mean, jeez. It's going to be such a difficult game, this. We might be able to get down this left side early on, though. Here is St. Maximin. Try a bit of skill to get inside. It's worked. This could be good, you know. Still going. Try a shot, maybe. Oh, and Titi recovered very well. Could have easily given away a penalty, but it was a perfect challenge. Oh, no. No. No way. They've scored already. We're just 10 minutes in. Oh, my God, guys. What have I got myself into? He's just completely plowed it into the top left corner there. Wow. Great job, Matt. Great start. Here's Danilo, though. Maybe get Sandro in, the ex-Barca man. He's in. Can you finish it from there? That's very unlikely. Even with his 97 finishing, he's not going to get that on target, let alone score. Wait, that's, that's a red. That's a red card for Luis Suarez. It is! 
He's been sent off. What is he thinking? Honestly, Suarez has done some stupid shit in real life. And he's just done it in the game. Why? Why has he slid in like that? From the back, Geraldes could have been pretty much injured for the rest of his career. Could have snapped his knee, honestly. And now we've got a chance. Oh, that's offside, damn it. We've got a big chance now against Barcelona with 10 men. I actually cannot believe that just happened. Suarez goes from hero to zero in the space of five minutes. He scores a beautiful goal and then he gets himself sent off for absolutely no reason. It was such a pointless challenge. But it's still Barcelona. Even with 10 men, they could still be very good. So we need to be careful, not get too complacent here. Here's Andre Gomez. He's probably like 88 rated. Oh my God. Oh my God. Neymar almost scored. Wait, what? There's only five minutes left of the first half? What? Where has this game gone? It's gone so quick. Here's Orsi. We'll give that to Malcolm. Oh no, I've got no space. How? How have I not got any space? They're down to 10 men. What is this? That's a good ball though. This could be good. Here's Sandro. What do I do? What do I do? I'm going to pass it back to Danilo. I'm going to try a shot because why not? But maybe that's not the key. There is the half-time whistle. I cannot believe Barcelona are still better than us, even with 10 men. I mean, maybe that shows how far off we are. The thing is, though, if you look at the ratings of my players, we're not that far off. You know, numbers-wise, we, we are... We're pretty decent. We've got a Champions League quality side. There's no doubt about it. But the individual skills, you know, the individual talent of the, the, uh, the Barcelona team is just second to none. It is ridiculously good. But let's see if we can get on the attack early on here. I think I might get that with Sandro. Can I beat PK? Can I take it back? Yes, I can. Pass that inside. This is where I'm going to be... Uh, Trying to get some chances. Let's have a shot again. Oh, Galdemez. So, so close. Oh, I see Maximin. No, Dennis Suarez is just taking it off me. Oh, no, I'm in trouble now. Please slide in and get that. <sighs> Could have easily been a penalty. Go on, Malcolm. Go on. Yes, look at the pace. Who needs Ariubi's pace when you've got Malcolm? Keep going, keep going. Jordi Alba's tried to make the tackle. It hasn't worked. Try and get across him with his left foot. Oh, what? That's a foul. It's completely off the ball. Here come Barcelona again. It's Denis Suarez. Schuller makes the tackle. Okay, now I can find Maximin on the left side, hopefully. There we go. Now, can we get on the run? Try and get through the middle here. Through for Geraldes. He could be in. He's been held back a little bit. Oh, come on. This is getting silly now, ref. Come on, Geraldes. Come on, Sandro. Come on, Maximin. This is it. This is the moment we get back in this game. Come on, Maximin. Come on. Keep running. Just don't stop. Hit it across goal. I should have sweat it. I should have sweat it straight to Geraldes, but I'd already pressed shoot. Oh my god, I've just wasted an absolute goal. Just simple as that. That was a goal. But Schuller's in there. That's a corner again, surely. You're telling me he just headed it that far wide. Wow. I can't believe we haven't actually scored in this game. What what minute did he get sent off? Was it like 15, 20 minutes in? And we've still somehow lost this game. That is just crazy. I mean, just look at this. Okay, you'd expect them to have more possession, better pass accuracy, but we had eight shots to two. Five of our shots on target are just unbelievable. I, I genuinely cannot believe we haven't at least got a point out of this game. But now, guys, we move on into our next game. We're back in the Premier League and we're playing at Anfield against Liverpool. Right now, we are top of the league. Liverpool are all the way down in 10th, so this should be a winnable game. They've got Firmino, they've got Mane, I think I saw Lalana at some point. Who else have they got? Jordi Classy in there. It is going to be a tough game. They've got Coutinho on the left, I believe, as well, although it has skipped the, uh, the team selection, as always. Very, very annoying when it does that. But we've got to win this game, especially after that disappointing result against Barcelona. I've made a couple of changes myself. Plata comes in today. We've got Ormebeck playing up front. We also have Kishner at Cam. But here's Malcolm. That's a penalty. Thank you very much, Matip. Really appreciate that, dude. We're going to get a penalty and a chance to score just 11 minutes in. And it's a red card. <laughs> what? This is unbelievable. Two red cards in two games against us. Get in there. And the fact that this time it's a defender getting sent off, that surely means that we're going to have a chance to, uh, to score a couple of goals. But we're going to change this off from Malcolm. And I want to give it to Almebeck because he hasn't scored yet. So let's go... Top right corner, get a bit of power on it. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding? What is with me in penalties in this freaking game? In this series, at least. I've never missed so many penalties in a career mode. This is unreal. And Danilo couldn't quite score from the header. 
This is just so much easier than Barcelona. You have no idea, guys, the difference right now. And Klein slides in. That's how you tackle. Matip, I hope you're watching from the sidelines, mate. Your teammate just showed you how to defend. We should get another chance here before half-time. Danilo puts it through for Malcolm. He should be able to get near the goal here. Maybe get a cross in. It's perfect for Kishner. He makes it 1-0. Get in there. I was just about to start saying how embarrassed I would be if I couldn't score for two games in a row against teams down to 10 men. That would have been so, so embarrassing. But thank thankfully, Kishner was in the right place at the right time. And we have scored against Liverpool down to 10 men. So there you go. I'm not going to get too happy about it, though, because we should easily be winning this game now. The referee should really be blowing his whistle here. Come on, end the first half. There we go. So down to 10 men. It's going to be an easy second half, hopefully. I might even bring on a few of my subs a little bit earlier on so we can save our legs for our next big game. I'm actually going to take off two of my key players, Shula and Pereira, just to avoid injury, to avoid them getting tired. Ayub and Van Dronglung are going to come on for this second half. Hopefully this doesn't backfire. Oh, imagine if one of them scored an own goal or something. Oh, look at the space. Look at the space here for Kishner. Surely it's going to be another goal. Surely. Oh, come on. Oh, my God, no. What the hell? Oh, thankfully he can't finish. He's a CDM, and that's where he should be, not the last man. How did he not get that on target, though? I don't know. Liverpool have a corner. They're also making a few changes. Vinaldum's come on. Emre Chan's come on as well, but it was a terrible, terrible corner, and we should be able to get through here. Uh, what is that pass? Win it. Yes! It doesn't matter. The pass was terrible, but we're going to be through here with Ibrahimovic's regen. Can he finish it? Yes, he can. Get in there. 2-0. And that is well and truly game over. It's not over yet, though. Look at this. Oh, it is. Damn it. I was just about to pass it over to Plata, but the referee ends the game. It's another three points in the Premier League. We stay top of the league. But now, guys, moving on into the next game. It is time for Everton away from home. This is our third away game in a row. That is pretty crazy hopefully we won't get another one for a while at this rate it feels like we permanently play away games but either way we're going to hopefully beat Everton they are down in 16th I believe it was so really not having a very good season here is St Maximin easily goes inside try finesse shot maybe oh my god what a start that would have been just six minutes in and we've almost scored but now here come Everton oh my god they hit the post Jeez, I'm glad they haven't got Lukaku. I just realised if they had Lukaku, chances like that will probably end up in the back of the net. Thankfully, it just came off the post. But now here's Gerald Ayres. We'll put that over the top for Sandro. He's in here. Terrible defending from Everton there. And, oh, wow. Never going to beat Stecklenburg with a stupidly underpowered shot like that. I don't know why he reached for it like that. He could have probably got a lot more power behind that if he stayed on his feet. Here's Maximin. That's a lovely pass inside to Dalbert. What a run that was. Try and get on the inside. Pass it inside. Come on, Malcolm. Onto that stronger left foot. He's just about over hit the control there. Ah, very, very annoying. And we're going into the last few seconds of this uh, first half. Maybe we can still get one chance out of this. Go on, Gerald. over the top. Oh, Sandro gets lucky. Can he finish it, though? No, he can't. And it's going to come out to Schneidlin. And that is going to be the end of the first half. Nil-nil. Need to score. Come on. I need to find a goal somehow. Here's Maximin. Give that to Sandro or Geraldes. Oh, for God's sake. If it went to Sandro, I would have known it was coming to him. It just caught me by surprise there going to Geraldes. I don't know why the game does that sometimes. It's stupid. But we'll keep going here with the attack so we can pass that inside again. Come on. This is it. This is it. Nope. Another pass intercepted there. Less than 15 minutes to go. And look where we've got a free kick. This is ideal. For someone like Sandro, right-footed, he's got really good stats. He's pretty much the only player we've got to take this. This needs to go in if I want to win this game, I think. I'm really struggling otherwise. Come on, please. Please, 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 please. Oh, Stecklenburg, what a save. It was on target, definitely going in, and Stecklenburg is there to save it. It was a good free kick. Could have been a little bit further to the corner, but still a very good save. We're going to get the corner in now. Schuler's there. He wins it to Geraldes. He does some sort of bicycle kick there, but... Not enough power behind it, and I think it would have gone wide anyway. Five minutes to go now. They've made a change. Delefeo's come on, and I've got a chance here with the cross. Gerald is in. Oh, no way. I've missed another opportunity. That should have gone in. Just five minutes left, guys. I don't think I'm going to get a better chance than that. We're into four minutes of added time. Malcolm here. Try and get the cross in. 
It's not bad. I think Stecklenburg's going to punch it. Oh, Holgate. Lovely little turn there. That was a bit weird. He kind of did like a ballerina turn, but unfortunately, no goals, guys. Just could not get the win today against Everton. I'm not sure why they're down near the bottom. They are seriously, seriously good. I was impressed. So our next game is going to be Ajax away from home in the group stages of the Champions League. You can see here, if we win that game, I'm pretty sure we're going to get second place in the group. I think that's what we need to do. Just get those three points against Ajax and we should be there. I don't think we're going to be able to take over Barcelona. They're just a little bit too good. And I don't think, you know, if I was to come up against Barcelona in the semis or the final or whatever, I just don't think I'll have enough to beat them. But it's too early to talk about things like that. We might still have the January transfer window ahead of us to improve that squad just a little bit more because, you know, you look at the numbers. Yes, there are some great, great players in there, but there's still room for improvement and maybe we could do some swap deals. I, I don't know. But either way, that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It's been pretty crazy with all the red cards. We've had a lot of goals. And of course, I scored a lot of those goals, but you haven't seen them because I lost that footage, which is a real shame. Hopefully it's not going to happen again, though. Thanks for watching. Make sure you drop a like, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you next time.